Hi everyone, I'm Emily and I'm here in front of the library where I work. I want to give you a quick tour um, as part of your orientation. I'm really happy to see you all in this video, but I'm also really disappointed we're not able to do it in person. But I do want to show you around a little bit. All right, let's head on in. So here we are in the library. When you first come in, if you turn to your right, then you'll be headed towards the first floor computer lab. This lab is open right now during the pandemic with social distancing measures. You can come and print up to 500 pages a term with your print allotment. If you turn to the left when you go into the library, you'll find the circulation desk. This is where you can pick up laptops that you have reserved, books that you have on hold, and any other equipment that you might need. The back hallway of the first floor is where you can find classrooms. Right now, because of our pandemic, they are staff only. But when we're together in person again, this is where we might meet. We also, when we're open, have this incredible coffee cart. I could use some right now. Coffee here, if you bring your own mug, is a refill, and it's pretty darn cheap. Each floor has group study rooms, with the exception of the second. You can book study rooms online and also pick up the keys at the circulation desk. On the second floor is where you can get reference or research help at the reference desk right behind me. On this floor, there's also a computer lab, our print reference collection, and some tech help as well. When the second floor opens again, you'll have this whole computer lab available for you to use. It's also where some of our reference books live. Not all reference books that we have, we have in print. Some of the ones we have in print aren't on the second floor, but let's take a look at some of my favorites. The Encyclopedia of Community, and then for urban studies folks and planning folks, Encyclopedia of Urban Studies, and more. Let's go upstairs and explore more of the building. The third floor is also excellent for group study space. There's plenty of furniture with outlets where you can plug in your laptops. So when you're looking for a book on the end of the stacks, you'll see the call number range for that row. And as I was doing my tour, I ran into Luke, a student worker who's here in the building, even though we're closed, making sure you get everything you need. Thank you, Luke. The bathrooms on every floor are in the same spot. On the third floor, we have gender neutral bathrooms. It doesn't matter which one you use. In addition, we have a family friendly study room. So if you've got children in your care that need to crawl around on the floor with toys, etc., and have a comfortable space and you don't have to worry about disturbing people with kid noises, you can check out a room at the circulation desk. The fourth floor is one of the quiet floors. It's also one of my favorites because it has a lot of our government information collection. In addition to collecting federal government information, we are a 100% depository for Oregon government information. That means we supposedly have 100% of the documents and publications created by the state of Oregon. For example, you see things like land and resource management plans, the governor's budgets, family law, the Oregon revised statutes, and more. Our federal documents collections have things like presidential papers, budgets, reports, documents from NOAA, policies, statistical surveys, bibliographies, etc. One of the best ways to find government documents that we have here in the library are to use the library search in an advanced version and then limit your search to be just for government documents. There are a number of these book scanning stations throughout the library on the first floor and second floor. They're pretty great. You can either save to your Google Drive or you can email yourself scanned documents. 
We just request that you respect copyright law. The second floor is also home to my office. This is where you can find me when we're back in person on campus. I take appointments uh, via email because my schedule changes every day. So if you do need to reach out to me and make an appointment, please do. I'm happy to do appointments over Zoom, Google Meet, on the phone, or in my office when we're finally back. You don't have to worry about scheduling those during normal working hours. I'm happy to accommodate my schedule so that it fits your needs. I'm really excited that you're starting at Portland State this year and I can't wait to meet you. We'll be working together for a couple of years at least and I'm really excited. Welcome.